The next stop is on the radar radio. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Yeah. Yes, sir, baby, on the radar radio. Yo, special guest in the building, Fred Money, in the building. Yes, My guy. sir. Yes, sir. Welcome back. Last time, just here for the freestyle with Ryder. For sure. Now we hear Dolo. For sure. Um, for what's sure. going on, bro? How you feeling? Good to see you. Man, cooler, man. Working, man. Got this new project coming out. Definitely need to stop through here, burn it down one time again for the one time. Killed that shit, by the way. For sure. Appreciate Killed it. that shit. Appreciate one take. It. Appreciate it. Last Appreciate time was it. a one take, too. Yeah. yeah, it was one take. Yeah, last time you were right on one take. Yeah, 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 people yeah. be so surprised when not well, obviously not you, but like people be surprised when artists. I noticed this the other day. Artists will come out and they'll be like, "Oh, hey, like, yeah, that took more than one take for a freestyle." And then people are like, "Oh my god, it took you more than one take." Like, should be happening. Oh, my mic fucked up. We back. We good. But yeah, people be so surprised when certain artists be like, oh yeah, that took more than one take. I think it's just the allure of like freestyle videos that people assume yeah, that yeah, everybody yeah, like, always ah. gets it on one take. Yeah, 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 yeah. But Fred got it on one take. We up. Man, man. You, got, you got to, man. It's, it's the ball work, man. How you feeling, though? Man, cooler, man. Like I said, just back in that mode, took some time off, started doing other things, and now I'm just back fully on the, on the music shit. I what mean, was Fred Money doing in that time off since I last seen you? Um, I started, I, I built my own public relations firm. Oh, um, congrats. I started executive yeah. producing. I executive produced a couple shows. And um, yeah, now it's back to that music. Yeah. What shows did you executive produce? Um, A sports show called Kiss and the Miss. With okay. The host was Jada Kiss and my guy, Mr. Exact from Florida. Nice. And another show I'm currently executive producing is The Danger Project. It's a podcast that's like bubbling right now on, on the net right now. Fire, For man. Sure. So you got a lot of shit under your belt right now. For sure. For How sure. did you, so you had to fully like be like, look, man, I can't manage these shows and do the music at the same time you have to fully take that step back yeah it's different because it's like i'm dealing with artists and they're like wait a minute you booking me for this shit? you executive producer i mean like but the same show they had how it worked out they booked me for you know for an interview me and jr we came and rip it down shout out to my god danger yeah. and then um you know he just see my history my background you know i'm from harlem i got my hands in everywhere it's like hustling is in my blood so if I'm not doing music, I just start focusing on something else and I just, you know, help the platform grow and just doing some shit right now. That's fire, man. Congrats sure on that. I appreciate it. Do you enjoy that? And like, was that always kind of something that you wanted to get into too? Was that always like an aspiration? Like, ah, or did it kind of just happen one day and you're like, all right, cool. I guess I'm going to start becoming now an executive producer of this shit. I mean, I mean, networking and shit like that. I was just like born into it because I'll be just like, you know, with JR all the time and he'll be in the studio locking in with the artist, but I'm more of a person. I, I joke, I'm friendly, I yeah. I get cool with the artists. I, I actually network. So when I see them out, they like, yo, fuck with me, come to the studio. Then we start end up working. And I mean, that's how I, that's how I just progress. It's just like how I met Cass and how I met different people. In the mm. game. Yeah, for sure. So now we back in music mode though. Sure. New for project sure. coming out. So what's the name of this project? For sure, New Money 2. New it's Money the two, sequel okay. to my last one. Um, did some numbers independently. I ain't have no back and just put it on myself. So yeah. For sure. So new money too. You got a kiss on this one? Nah, not on this one. I had to ask. <laughs> I had to ask. Was that like, shout out to my boy Kiss though for sure? Do you be thinking about that too? Like damn, maybe what, is now the right time to ask? Yeah, yeah. But you know, Kiss is like it's hard to explain his his worth his worth ethic. Like um, it's like a fucking grizzly bear. It's like mm -hmm. I mean, when he when he when he comes out when he comes out to work, no homo. He just knocking knocking out his verses or whatever. He just doing he just doing his one two. Yeah. But um, it's a long like like when I talk to him, he know it's a long line of people that's waiting on a verse. Like yeah. you know, you, my brother Jr. He been fucking with Kiss for over fifteen years. They just got a record on his last project, Absolutely, so that should yeah, tell yeah. you. So I mean, I'm I, I'm I, I am on the line though. I definitely asked <laughs> for sure. Just patiently waiting. Yeah, for sure. But I I got Davies on the project. I got Vado, I got Dragon, oh, I just oh. dropped this video with Dragon, that's crazy. I got Cassidy, of course, my guy, I got JR all over it, of course, I got Luke, got Cass from Queens. The so is that the song that y'all already have out? Yeah, for okay. sure, cool, for cool. sure, yeah, that's on the project. And um, I even got, she I went to LA, I worked with Chevy Woods, shout out to oh, my man like AD, AD, you know like AD that. from No Jumper, he rapped yeah, too, yeah, 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 yeah. so I, AD. I, I had a man of joy, shout out to AD. I got yeah. you my boy, coming for soon. Sure. Me and AD been trying, we've been trying to situate this, me and Gina have been trying to situate okay, this for yeah. a while, next time you in NYC, I got you Yeah, for AD sure. a real one, shout out to him, for sure, for sure. 
So you got a nice little, you got a nice little balance on. I like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. L.A. East Coast, Harlem. I mean, but seventy five percent of the features on this album was on the last album, just so it could, you know, accompany the the sequel, the sequel vibes. Like, you know, what I'm saying, like the last project, I had Unthinkable with Jr. and Davies, and now we got a, a, a new record I'm about to drop with Jr. and Davies, and it's called The Real Is Back. That mm. shit gonna be crazy too. Yeah, for that's sure. some some real sure. Harlem shit, right? For sure, for sure. Gotta Harlem. keep it Harlem. How sure. do you how do you then like when you well how do you first meet like AD and like Chevy and shit like that like how do you make that connection because I'm big on like making those east to west coast connections and trying to bridge that gap even though it's not always easy because the sounds don't always match up. Um, like how I bridge the how I met AD, like I said, I got my own public relations firm. And okay. Everything comes full circle. Um, I had a CBD, a, a white label and CBD company that I owned. And I had signed OT Genesis to his own CBD label. Oh, cool. And it's called Big League CBD. And um, we had did a launch party. Wiz Khalifa, shout out to Wiz. Everybody came through and AD came through. And, um, you know, JR was there. And when I say it comes full circle, it's like AD, OT was like, yo, JR, what's good? And, you know, we started talking music other than business. And that's how it worked out. Mm. It's like, yo, whenever you out here, come fuck with me. You know what I mean? Right. Chevy, same way. And you know, Wiz is big fan of JR, big fan of Dipset. Right. Everybody knows that. So, yeah, for sure. So you've still been doing this all independently? Sure. Your whole, your whole career? Um, the only time I had a deal, JR got me a deal probably when I was like 16, Baby Grand. But that was still independent. It's like, you know, one of the, like, Koch. Like, yeah, yeah. But right, it was like I was about to say, grand. like, for you, like, what's, has the hardest part of keeping this route, like, kind of being able to focus on the music while also balancing the other stuff, like the EP or the PR firm shit, or like... Ah, but like I said, sometimes like you know, people with bars, like they said, they don't they don't be they you don't you don't get paid for your bars and shit. So That's you gotta correct. be doing other stuff. I'm a bar rapper. I'm not I'm not doing no dances. I'm not doing TikToks. Yeah. I'm not I mean, I'm not trying to get my reel up so everybody can watch it and I can get paid from it. I'm just trying to spit my bars, y'all fuck with it, and y'all grab up the project. So, you know, it's 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 not that um I mean, you're not getting paid like that. Like like as like a like when you sign to a major or whatever, so you know I I like getting it out the mud anyway though. Yeah, I mean, it, it feels, it feels better. better. Yeah, yeah. It definitely feels better. But I feel like you know I feel like we're in that era. Um, I, we were just talking about this last night where like like Griselda artists are getting gold plaques, platinum plaques. Like uh -huh. the bars are still bars still matter. Yeah. West Side's project comes out this week, I think, too. When we're recording this, something for like sure. That. Yeah. It's like I said um um a couple years ago with no no push no nothing. Me and Cassidy had a had a record, no back and no nothing. Is that seventeen million views right now? Crazy, seventeen million. <laughs> so it's like, and I ain't do a damn thing. I ain't pay a person for promo ads on the YouTube space, pay a nigga to push the record out somewhere. None of that. We right. just dropped it, gave it the world star. Do your thing with it. And it just went viral like that. People picked right. up on the bars. It was, I mean, well, with the PR firm too, I feel like you also learned a little bit more about like what you could have done better in the past for sure. to to amplify the things that you're doing. And then I guess like now it's like okay, now you can apply that PR firm sure. work to like the new project. For sure, that's exactly what I do. I mean, and it makes it easier when I tap in because they they had just seen me, <laughs> right. you know, bringing them somebody else, and I'm like, hey, Gabington, I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> And now we back with the new music. For sure. So what else for we have sure. cooking up after the project? After this project, uh, I would say I want to drop the sequel to my first project. Like I said, I dropped my first project on yeah. Baby Grand called Money Rules the World Two, and I mean Money Rules the World One. And I'm actually trying to drop part two, which is actually done though. Okay. Man. Fire. Like I said, I got the studio in the crib. I learned from my brother. He had got the studio in the crib early, so a couple years ago he had like coached me into you know when the PR stuff. He just wanted me. Not to just all the way 100% on the PR stuff. He like, get the studio in the crib, right. watch what happens. And that's exactly what, what happened. You know, I put the studio in the crib, knocked out two projects, and this is the first one right here. Okay. And I got about like, for this project right here, I got about like five videos done already. I just dropped one, mm -hmm. maybe two. I, no, I just dropped one. And um, yeah, I got four done in the chamber. And I oh, mean, yeah. Five, man. Sure. Well, congrats, man. By the time y'all see this new project, probably out or For coming sure. very soon. So congrats, congrats to you, though, because my boy. 
Oh, thank you, bro. You doing your thing, you Thank you, bro. I appreciate <laughs> you, man. Come on. For sure, for sure, man. For sure. The come up is real, man. It's just like how you said, when it's out the mud, it feels better. And I know you you reaping the benefits right now. Oh, man, yeah, for man. sure. I'm having a good time. For sure. Well, again, I appreciate you. By the time y'all see this, uh, project should be out. Yeah. Now it's coming. Go stream that. Uh, yeah. Freestyle out now. Uh, one take, you already know the vibes for everybody. One you already take know how it is. Uh, Harlem in the building. Before we get up out of here, let the people know they can follow you out. Anything else you want them to know? Yeah, you could. This camera right here. Yeah, you could follow me at Fred Money. No underscore. No none of that on Instagram. Two underscores on um, Twitter and um, Fred Money Music on YouTube, man. And Fred slash Money dot com regular site. And um, yeah, man, if you're trying to get get a buzz or something, always busy dot com. Always busy pr dot com. Man, holla at me. The busiest, man. You already yes, know what sir. it is. Yes, Make sure you go check out that freestyle. Check out that project. Uh, go even check out the one he did with JR not too long ago on the show. Go follow him. Go show him some love. Go show him some support. Love is free. Support is free. But y'all yes, ready to until next time. Fred support Money. Support the real. Support the real. We out. Bow. Bow.